there's nothing particularly new in this video. You've seen this Delta Loop before, though on a pier rather than on a beach. Instead of tying to the railing, I've hammered the squid pole into the ground using a sand stake that again you've seen on a previous video. There's mainly contacts within VK up to a couple of thousand kilometers, often to mobile stations. But later on, you'll also hear signals from an American station who's QRP. This is our sand mounted Delta Loop. Only took a few minutes to put up. I'm using a tent peg in the sand and then there's a support rope. You could use nylon fishing line, which is smaller and lighter. That's just tied to the wire. Now, if you do use fishing line, just make sure that it doesn't bite through the insulation of the wire. You might want to make a small insulator out of, say, a piece of chopping board. The lower wire, the bottom of the triangle, is well above the sand, about 50 or 60 centimetres, though a metre would probably be better. And it runs more or less horizontal to the other support in the other corner, which is another tent peg in the ground. Because I want this to be vertically polarised for DX, it's fed at the bottom corner, in fact a little bit above. The distance from the top of the triangle to the feed point is a quarter wave, and the sides are a third of a wavelength. Here's a close-up of the feed point, just using a short length of figure eight cable going down to the one-to-one -one ballon. I'm running a Mark 5 field and a full element monobender on a room in here at about 700 watts. They have four BDG AK4 MPI. VK3YE portable, VK6NT back here, you got the name right, name's Ted. And uh, on the beach, over there, in the Melbourne area, we've got a uh, Mark 5 field over there, and uh, it's certainly working, you're 57. Yeah, it's working, 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 it's
That's N5VEZ, who's running QRP. Because these loops are directional, I'll try and move the loop around and see if I can get a better signal. Well, I found only a slight change, but I haven't moved the loop fully around to see if there's a sharp null. Now I'm going to do an experiment with the reverse beacon. I've just sent a couple of CQ calls with the antenna beaming west. Now I'll move the wire to make it favour north-south and see if there's any difference in the signal reports that I'm getting from the reverse beacons. Just so that I remember which is which, I'll just slightly change the frequency so I can see which reception reports correlate with which direction. The stations that heard me were VK3JBL and ZL2HAM. This was on around 14.030. ZL2 HAM got me 12 or 13 dB signal to noise ratio while VK3 JBL who's not far from here got me at 17 or 18 dB only 1 dB difference when the antenna has changed direction so pretty negligible there may have been fading which made the results misleading or the loop may have a sharp null, which as the loop isn't easily continuously adjustable, I wasn't able to find that. So that's just a demonstration of the directivity of a delta loop antenna. At least in this case, very close to the ground, appears to have been almost nothing. On received signals, I tried walking around pegging the end of the loop in different areas of the sand, whilst listening to the signal strength from distant stations and there didn't seem to be much difference either.